Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today, what we're going to be doing is making a uh, simple module loader. So, yeah, I guess let's get started into it. Yeah. First of all, uh, what we're going to do is just set... Uh, sorry. What we're going to be doing is setting up a... Or we're going to re be requiring our modules, so... Um, I guess we'll just create our module first. So we'll create a module wherever you want, server storage or replicated storage. It works the exact same on client and server. But um, yeah, so this is what we're going to do. So I'm going to do mine on server so I can just run it without loading my character. But yeah, so I'm going to name mine uh, class loader. And then I'm going to require this in my server script. So local loader equals require uh, game.serverstorage.classloader. Alright, so now that we got that, we're going to do, I'm just going to rename module to loader on both sides. So what we're going to need to do is cache a table, a, a secondary table, um, that holds all of our module information, all the modules underneath it. Um, so then we can access in the other module scripts and whatnot, right? So we're going to do module.modules equals a table, an empty table for now. And what we're going to do is run a for loop, so um, for mo I module scripts, oops, uh, in, pair, in I pairs, I'll do, I'll do script, um, get children, and then after we got that, we're going to check if module scripts is a module script, then it should always be a module script, but you know, just doing an extra check just in case. We'll do local module equals require uh, module scripts. Oh, I'm going to rename that to module script. There we go. And then what we're going to do is add um, our module, the one that we just required right here, into our module there. So we're going to add to the table by simply just doing loader.modules. We're going to do module script dot name equals module. I'm just going to do a little print here. We're going to do uh, loaded module script dot name. There we go. And we're going to do, it. yeah, I'll just leave that for now. And then we're just going to add a little module here first. We're going to name this one apple. I'm going to name another one banana. So now if we check in the output here, we'll do loaded apple and loaded banana. Alright, so that works. Cool. However, what if you want to do something, let's say, I'm just going to name this apple inside. And the same with banana, I'll name it banana. So let's say we wanted to store something in here. So we'll do um, so we're going to go ahead and go in our script and we're going to print loader. So if you run the game, you can see that it'll print modules and apple and banana. But you see that it prints loader. You see how it has like an empty table right here? Well, that's not really what you want because it's kind of ugly, right? So what we're going to do is just return loader modules. And then it will require, or it'll send back the table of um, modules you have there. So let's say we wanted to make a bool value, apple dot test bool equals true. So if we run the game, we'll check that apple test bool equals true. So with that information, we can literally call a function here. We'll do function apple test. And then we'll print um, toast. And then in our script, we'll do loader. Or I'll do this after, actually. Loader. And then we'll call apple. And we'll call test function. Boom. Toast. Alright, so that's pretty, that's pretty simple, right? Alright, so now that we have that, what we're going to want to do... Let's say you wanted to require something from inside of this script. 
or inside this module script without requiring um, from a different module. Or let me rephrase that, sorry. Let's say we wanted to require something from banana module, but we didn't want to require the module itself. Like again, because we already required it in here. That's simple. So what we're going to do is create a function in here called, or first we're going to make it simpler here. We're going to do local loader in our apple module. We're going to do function apple init. We're going to set the environment, we're going to send over the environment. And we're going to set meta table. We're going to uh, do apple as our first parameter. And then we're going to do a table with under, uh, with index equals function. Oh, I thought I spelled that wrong. Uh, function, we're going to send over the self and the index. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is set um, environment with our index right here. Hold up, did I spell something wrong? Oh, whoops, forgot to return it. Yeah, so you want to return uh, environment with index. So, and then now we can, what we can do is set loader, or if you print self now, uh, I'm just going to do this. Actually, yeah. <clears throat> wow. Okay, I need to take a little break here. All right. So I'm going way too fast. All right. So now what we need to do is um, in our module loader, which I have named uh, class loader, what we're going to do is check if this function is... Um, a thing, then we're going to call it. So if module in it is not equal to nil, then we're going to do module uh, in it. And then we're going to send over our uh, loader. Like that. So we send over the environment of this module over in this one. So now if we print, or if we run the game, it will print. Uh, It'll print everything it has so far. Just like that. And so there's nothing in here, it didn't print anything. But it sends over the environment of everything that it ran through now. So now if we wanted to go ahead and do, and set a uh, loader to this, so then it's easier to access. Um, like this, so this is an Apple module by the way. Loader equals self dot modules. And self dot modules equals this. Sweet. Works great. Now, let's say we wanted to, or yeah, I'm just going to uh, copy all this and toss it in here and then I'll just rename some stuff. So now we're in the banana uh, module. So I'm just going to rename everything that's uh, apple to banana. There we go. Um, you can do that by doing control H, by the way. Alright, so now that we have this, let's say we were in Apple, in our Apple module, and we wanted to get something from Banana. So this one's going to be called uh, Monkey. So we want to require the monkey. Uh, we're going to do ooh, ooh, ah, or ooh, ah. So let's say we wanted to require the, or we want to call the monkey function from our Banana module, but we don't even have the module required here. Alright. So we're gonna do loader, and we're gonna do um, banana. We're gonna do monkey, and now it'll print ooh ah, just like that. See how simple that was? And all we had to do was this, and now everything is connected. Because now what we can do is print loader, and it will display the whole table of everything. Just like that. Check that out. Now it doesn't even have to be, it, we could, let's say we wanted to store info. We'll just name this one info. Let's say we wanted only info in this one. And not any functions, yada yada yada. So we're just going to return our table here. And let's say we wanted to return apple equals green. Okay, so let's say we wanted to do um, 
So we're going to print, uh, whoops, loader, what is this, info dot apple. There we go. So if we print loader dot uh, info and apple, it's going to print green. So it doesn't even have to have this init function because that's why we checked. If it's not equal to nil, then we call it. But if it is equal to nil, then we don't call it because otherwise it would error. Because sometimes you want to store information like this and you want it to be easily accessed throughout your scripts. And it would just be unnecessary to add a function in something like this simple. But um, yeah, so I'll toss this in the, in the description for you guys if you want it. Um, it's very simple, stupid simple, but it's very useful in many cases. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, um, punch your screen for the like button. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Peace.